So look, we're entering a new era. Everything is changing. The way we live, the way we buy, the way we work, and the way that we do business. We are entering what experts call the content economy, and there are a bunch of 20-year-olds making more than a doctor or a lawyer by taking advantage of this new opportunity. So look, if you clicked on this short video, it's because you want to create an online business, so pay attention. I personally made $263,000 in a single year in high school as a growth operator partnering with a creator. And today we'll be diving into exactly what a growth operator is and why it's the best business to start in the new content economy. So look, transparently, any business that you see online probably does work. Anything that you see someone talking about is a good way to make 10K a month online probably does work, but obviously every business has its pros and its cons. And so we'll be diving into the pros and cons of every single business model that's out there right now. So we'll start off with what is a growth operator? A growth operator is basically someone that goes and partners with the creator and helps them run a business. There's tons of content creators out there now. I think there's 200 million content creators currently and only 2% of the content creators that are out there making content have actually been able to monetize their audience. They have tons and tons of attention. There's tons of creators that have really big audiences, but only 2% of them have even made more than $50,000 with their audience. I like to say that a lot of these creators are suffering from what's called broke influencer syndrome. So they have millions and millions of followers, but they're still broke. They don't even make that much money from their content. They're typically getting paid through brand deals or maybe getting paid by views from the creator funds, but a lot of that money is insignificant. It's little compared to how much they could actually be making with the amount of attention that they have. And so a grow and so a growth operator goes and finds a creator and they partner with the creator and run a business on the back end of the audience while the creator just focuses on making content, building up an audience and getting attention. That duo is extremely powerful because if you can have attention, people say that where attention goes, money flows, right? And so if a creator can go get a ton of attention and have someone on the back end that will actually take that attention and turn those followers into dollars, it's an extremely powerful duo. And so that's what you're doing as a growth operator. And what you're doing specifically as a growth operator is helping creators sell info products, info communities. These are digital products. Now, one of the most popular businesses currently is e-commerce or dropshipping, which is selling physical products, which I'm not a big fan of, honestly. You can make a lot of money doing that, but look at it like this, right? If you're gonna go start an e-commerce brand or start dropshipping, you're gonna need some money up front. A lot of people will tell you that you don't need money up front, but realistically, you will need some money up front. And with physical products, you're gonna have to fulfill an order. So say, let's say you start like a clothing brand and you sell a lot of orders, you're gonna have to package and ship those orders. So you're either gonna have to do that yourself or you're gonna have to hire someone to do that for you. And hiring someone is gonna cost money and the products itself are gonna cost money. A lot of people will claim to make a lot of money with e-commerce brands or drop shipping, and they'll show screenshots of them making like $10,000 per month. But in reality, the amount of profit that they're actually taking from that is like two to 5K. The profit margins are like 20 to 50% realistically. And so no one wants to do that, right? All that work just to get like half the profit. As a growth operator, you're selling info products. So instead of selling physical products, it's digital. You can build it once and then you're able to sell it an infinite amount of times. And a good example of a type of info product you could sell as a growth operator is like a paid community, like a Discord or a school. These work perfectly for creators because the creators already have big audiences and they're just not centralized. Like they will just be in the comments, but they have no place to go and centrally talk about one topic, whatever the creator is making content about. So let's say you find a fitness creator it's very easy to go work with them and build like a fitness discord where the creator's audience can go learn about fitness, interact with other people that are on their fitness journey, share their progress, um, get support and get some help from other people in the community or directly from the creator itself. And the cool thing about these online communities, these paid communities, info products, is you only have to build them once. I personally built a discord in high school that was centered around sneaker reselling. And it took me maybe two days to build out the Discord, and that Discord is still running to this day. It took me two days to build it out, and we were able to sell thousands of thousands of people into the Discord. Uh, we charged $75 per month for access, and at the time when I was running it, I was able to sell over 2,000 people into it working with the creator that I was working with. So you can do the math on how much money that would have been, um, but I no longer work with them, and they're still using the same product that I built out for them over a year ago, and they were able to make $150,000 last month using the same exact product that I built out once that took me two days. And so with info products, it's amazing because you literally just build it once, it'll take 
a few hours to a few days, and then you're able to sell it an infinite amount of times with really high profit margins, as opposed to e-com or dropshipping, where your profit is gonna be really, really slim. Another popular model that people like to talk about is doing digital services. So this is like social media marketing agencies, SMMA, where you're selling like marketing as a service. Now these, I personally have tried, and I made some money doing it, but I realized that selling services is still selling your time, and you don't really wanna sell your time because you can't really scale. At a certain point, you're gonna, everyone only has 24 hours in a day. And so at a certain point, you're gonna get capped at how much time you can put into this. And so there will be a limit on how much money you can make doing it. And then obviously, of course, you can outsource and hire people below you to do the physical services. But managing teams is very, very um, stressful and it's hard to manage. And then once you hire a team below you, you're gonna cut into your profit. And no one wants to do that, all right? With digital products, you don't have to hire a team. I operate right now, I think we're doing about 50K a month with our info product. And I have me, my business partner, who's currently operating for me, I'm the creator, and we have one virtual assistant that helps us with some tasks, and that's it. And so we're able to maintain really, really, really high profit margins, and the fulfillment is super, super easy. It only takes us about a few hours of work per week to manage. Another way of doing online business that people typically go into is they'll start off as freelancers. So they'll get one skill, and they'll start selling that skill and freelancing. So they'll learn like copywriting and start writing emails freelance for different businesses where they'll get paid like 20 to 150 to write an email here and there for a different um, business or they'll learn like video editing or they'll go freelance and do video editing for different businesses but no one wants to do that that's basically just like working a job um, it's a glorified job and you can't really scale that super fat no one wants to get paid fifty dollars to write an email um, and then the next step up from that is people go from being a freelancer doing that to running an agency where they start taking retainers where they get clients that will pay them monthly to do the services. That again is like another version of a job. It's just a glorified job where you're doing work for other people, you're selling your time, and at a certain point you're gonna get capped and you can't really scale it because you're gonna have to, if you wanna scale, you're gonna have to hire a team. Managing a team is typically a really, really, really big bottleneck in a lot of people's businesses, and it's gonna cut into your margins. Um, ideally, you wanna keep as high profit margins as possible, because no one wants to make $10,000 and only walk away with $1,000 profit, right? As a growth operator, you don't have to worry about any of that. You need to just find one creator that has a big audience that's not selling anything, and you just partner with them, and that's your one client. Instead of being an agency owner where you have 10 clients all paying you $1,000 per month to do services, and you're gonna have to manage all 10 clients at once, um, which will be a headache, you'll have one client that'll end up paying you 10 to 20K a month because you're working with them and you're taking 50% of the profit you make them and you're building one business with them. All it takes as a growth operator is one whale client, one creator with a big audience will make you a lot of money. You can do the 1% rule to calculate actually how much a creator's audience can make you. So what the 1% rule is, is 1% of any audience will become a buyer at any given time. So let's say you find a creator, a fitness creator that's not selling anything already. You can do the math. Let's say they have 100,000 followers, right? 1% of those followers will become buyers. So 1% of 100,000 is 1,000 buyers. So that creator has 1,000 buyers in their audience. Let's say you partner with them as a growth operator and help them build out a paid community, like on school, and you charge $50 per month for access to their paid school where they talk about fitness. There's different discussion categories in there about fitness. Um, they can even put together an online course, which is a version of an info product um, that they can pay for access to inside the community. And then they'll also just be paying to be inside of the community surrounded by like-minded people. Let's say you only charge $50 per month for that community to their audience and they have 100,000 followers. 1% will buy, so that's 1,000 people. 1,000 people paying $50 per month is 50K per month. If you split that with the creator, that's 25K in your pocket every single month. That's how this model works. All you have to do is go find one creator and partner with them. It'll take a day or two to build up the paid community and the info product. You can get them to film a online course if that's what you guys wanna help build. Or you can just sell just a community. In high school when I was running um, the Discord that I was running, which was centered around reselling, there wasn't any course in there. It was literally just a community where people would learn about reselling and interact with other resellers. Um, and people were paying $75 per month, per month for access. Community is one of the most powerful things um, in 2023. Everyone is online and everyone feels disconnected because like, everyone's super connected technically if you think about it because of the internet, but 
a lot of people still feel disconnected. Um, but being inside of a community where you're surrounded by other people who are interested in the same things you are um, is very powerful because humans naturally want a tribe, which is why selling a paid community is, is very, very, very powerful and it's very fulfilling as well. So again, basically a growth operator is someone that goes and finds a creator that has a big audience. There's literally millions of them, 200 million creators to be exact. And they'll go partner with just one creator, which will take you realistically about a week or so to find. Um, all you have to do is send a few DMs to creators. You can find them on like TikTok, Instagram, um, there's this website called findcreators.io that you can find creators with and just message creators that aren't selling anything and offer to partner with them and help them build a paid community or sell some type of info product like a course, community, coaching program um, to their audience from anywhere from $50 to $500 per month. And honestly, it could be a little bit less. I've seen people do it for $5, $10 per month, all the way up to 500 or even more and you'll do everything on the back end. You're basically like a Discord mod. When I was in high school, I spent a lot of my time on Discord, just chatting with people, talking about reselling, and also helping sell them into the paid community, which was $75 per month. And the cool thing about being a growth operator is, like I mentioned, I built out the Discord in high school. It took me maybe two days to build it out. And then after that, it was just a few hours of work per week to manage it. Um, all I had to do was really make announcements, letting people know when we were um, accepting spots for the paid community and make them make updates in the announcements channel about what was happening inside the community. Um, and the cool thing about being a growth operator is you're going to build skills as you do it. You don't need any skills prior to doing it. I started off in high school with no skills. I was 16 years old, dumbass high school kid, didn't know what I was doing. And as I worked with a creator, he had a really big audience and so there was tons of leads and I was able to get a lot of reps in for all the skills that go into really running a business like sales. I was having different conversations with all the leads that he was bringing in and I was trying to sell them into the $75 a month version of the Discord and I was able to have dozens of conversations every day which dialed in my skills um, in sales. So instead of becoming an appointment setter or a closer, which is basically just working under a business to do sales specifically for them, like texting their leads or calling their leads to book appointments or actually taking the calls and closing and selling the leads on a product, you, as a closer and as a setter, you're basically working a job uh, still. And a lot of people go towards online business because they're looking to become their own boss. And as a setter or a closer, you're going to be doing all this work, working long days, only to get 5 to 15 or maybe even 20% of the revenue that you bring in for the business. Um, but as a growth operator, you're able to still do this. You're still going to be talking to leads and closing deals. Instead of only getting 5 to 10%, 5 to 15% of the revenue that you bring in, you're going to get 50% because you're splitting it with the creator. And as a growth operator, you're technically your own boss. You're a business owner. As a setter and as a closer, you're gonna have people breathing down your neck, telling you what to do. Um, but as a growth operator, let's say that you aren't a fan of sales. Maybe you're not a fan of talking to leads and actually doing sales, like having sales conversations. No worries. You're a business owner, you're a growth operator. You're able to hire people below you. That's the beauty of this. So let's say you become a growth operator, you partner with the creator that has a big audience. 100,000 followers, so you guys are going to have 1,000 buyers, and you don't want to do the sales. No worries. Hire a setter below you. Give them a 5 or 10%, and you're still going to take 50% of the total profit that the business brings in. Um, that's the beauty of it. Let's say that you don't want to do copywriting, which is a skill that you'll learn as you write announcements in the community. Cool. No worries. You can hire a copywriter below you. You're a business owner. You can scale it. You can outsource everything if you wanted to. Um, like I said, it took about two days to build out the community. On Discord, a new platform for paid communities, which I personally use nowadays, is School. And I'm a massive fan of School because it's super simple. And I think the current community that I'm running took me maybe a few hours, maybe four or five hours to build out. And we've been running it with it. We've been running with it since. And you can take payments through School, which is awesome. But yeah, as a growth operator, you have more leverage. Instead of working a job, a glorified job, which a lot of these business models that people talk about really are just glorified jobs. You'll be a true entrepreneur where you'll learn skills as you go. I started off in high school, didn't really know what I was doing, and I just developed skills through repetition. I'm a big believer in learning by doing. A lot of people will tell you to go study and go do a ton of research before you actually get started with something so that you can get good and learn it. But you're not going to learn by just studying. You're going to learn by actually doing it. And so that's my, my big belief about this is like you're going to learn skills as you go and do this. Um, 
So yeah, basically summarizing, a growth operator is someone that goes and partners with a content creator to help them build and launch a paid community for their audience where they charge anywhere from 10 to $500 per month for access. And all it really takes is to go find one creator that has a big audience, you take 50% split with the creator and then you'll take maybe a day or two to build out a paid community for them. You can get the creator to create a course to put inside the community. That'll allow you to charge more because it'll be more value that you're providing to the audience. And then from there, you're really just focusing on managing the community, making sure people inside the community are happy and selling more people inside the community. This is personally what I did in 2022 while I was still in high school. I was still like 16, 17 years old to make $263,000 in a single year. And it's honestly the best opportunity that's out there because there's so many creators and none of them know how to actually take advantage of their audience. All of them are suffering from broke influencer syndrome where they have 100,000 or a million followers, but they're still only making $200, $300 per month from their audience. But they could be making a lot more. They could be making, like I said, the 1% rule. Someone that has 100,000 followers has 1,000 buyers. A thousand buyers that pay $20 per month, that's 20K per month. You split that 50-50 with the creator, that's 10K in your pocket each month. So I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you got some value out of this video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you wanna learn more about how to actually land a creator client as a growth operator, which will only take a few days, I'll be making a video about that. So go ahead and watch the next video where I'll show you exactly where to find creators and what to say to them to actually get them to agree to work with you as a growth operator. Peace out, see you in the next one.